issue. The fact that threats to democracy have overtaken cost of living. Look, six months ago, it seemed like cost of you guys were going to ride the cost of living issue to the majority. Cost of living is certainly an important issue, but it's not the only one anymore. Are you concerned that with lower gas prices that all of a sudden you guys don't have the right message to win this? Well, Chuck, at the beginning of the program, you made the important point that the American people are angry and anxious, and there's a reason why the American people are angry and anxious, and it's because they are worse off under the policies of congressional Democrats and Joe Biden. Uh, yes, they are concerned about our country and the future of our country because we're in a recession, because we've had two consecutive quarters of negative economic growth, despite what the White House wants to do in redefining that term. Real wages are down, credit card debt is up because people cannot afford this increased cost of living. We are experiencing the highest inflation, Chuck, in 40 years. The average American household is suffering under $5,000 reduced purchasing power. They're paying more for virtually everything. Gas prices have doubled. There's an energy crisis in this country because this president has waged a war on energy in this country. We are no longer energy independent. In fact, we've gone from energy dominant to energy desperate in just a year and a half's time. And we are experiencing a crime wave, 15% increase in homicides because of the defund police movement. And we have no operational control over the southern border. In, in my home state of Kentucky, we are experiencing the worst fentanyl overdose crisis mm -hmm. in our country. Uh, no, Kentucky is not on the southern border, but we are a border state because our citizens are dying because this administration and, and this leadership in the, in the Democrat-controlled yeah. Congress refuses to follow the law and secure our border, and people are dying because of it. Let me That's ask, why the American ask, people are anxious and right. angry in this country let and me, why they want to change. Let me ask you this. Um, what is your plan to deal with inflation? What is the Republican plan to deal with inflation other than not supporting Joe Biden policies? And I say that because what is the proactive agenda here? Well, we have a positive agenda. We have a commitment to America, and we're going to get back to basics. Republicans are going to win landslide elections, not just because Joe Biden has done such a poor job and congressional Democrats have failed the American people on the economy, crime, and the border, but because we have a positive agenda to secure the border, to get back to basics, to stop the flow of drugs into our communities, uh, to prevent people on the terror watch list from cr coming cr across the southern border, and to restore the remain in Mexico policy that this administration just reversed to, to finish a border wall infrastructure and technology and resource border mm -hmm. patrol. You know, the Democrats just passed a bill that would increase the workforce at the IRS by 87,000 people to come after yeah. law-abiding American small business owners and harass them. We don't need more IRS agents. We need more border patrol agents. And we have a common sense plan yeah. to reduce the cost of living, to lower the cost of the pump. We want to restore American energy independence. We're going to end these policies uh, that, uh, that, that prevent us from uh, being inter energy independent. We're going yeah. to stop the politicization of, of the financing of energy, and we are going to produce more energy to reduce our dependence on foreign sources okay. of energy and also speculative, unreliable sources of energy uh, that, th that this administration is so obsessed about. Let me ask you about the IRS. Uh, talking point because I just don't get it um, uh, because a lot of Republicans have talked about dealing with waste fraud and abuse the current head of the IRS who was a Trump appointee said he didn't have enough people to essentially that the biggest problem we have is people don't pay the taxes that they're supposed to pay uh, if you're upset about uh, extra IRS agents stop cheating on your taxes congressman and I'm not saying you personally well, but I, I, I mean I'm talking about in general <laughs> Right, Chuck. Well, no, no. Look, everybody b believes that uh, people should pay their taxes, but the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office, looking at this legislation, this reconciliation bill, this Inflation Expansion Act, says that twenty billion dollars of these audits are going to come at the expense of low and middle income Americans. When when Joe Biden and his campaign promised the American people that oh taxes were not going to go up for people earning less than four hundred thousand dollars, that was a lie. This bill is going to come at the expense of the American people. Raising taxes on 
energy producers, job creators, and people trying to save for retirement in the middle of a recession, I don't know for the life of me why they think that's a winning strategy uh, in, in a situation where Americans uh, can't afford gas, they can't afford groceries. Uh, heck, moms can't even get right. baby formula right now. So uh, the economy is not serving the Democrats well. Yeah. And only in Joe Biden's America, only in Joe Biden's America is the solution to an inflation-induced uh, 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 spending induced inflation crisis, more spending. The, the way to fix inflation is to lower taxes, to repair our supply chains, and to produce more energy to lower prices. Right. That's Let the solution, and that's the Republican solution. I want to get you to respond uh, to what happened to Liz Cheney uh, earlier this week. Here's what she said in her concession speech. We have